Good afternoon, good evening, how are you? Wherever in the world that you are, I'm out here enjoying the golden hour and walking in the forest overlooking the ocean. So it would be a beautiful place to talk from while I'm connected with nature, feel my feet on the ground. Let me show you. I don't know if you can see it but this is my view so you and your golden pussy and this applies to men as well we can equally say that your cock is golden your pussy is golden I don't know if you saw the image that I posted of the gold coins bursting out of the vagina <laughs> but uh, I wanted specifically to talk about this from the perspective of women and females uh, but it also applies to men as well because after all we all contain both divine feminine and divine masculine energies and uh, these are both playing their part in all of us you know but one thing about women, one thing I've been through, one thing that I know so many women go through is this big not enoughness around everything about ourselves, like a lack of confidence, a fear of standing up for ourselves, you know, it's so crazy. I mean, I hear from women, for example, that they're actually scared to tell their partner what they want and they're continuously having like sexual touch they don't enjoy. Obviously, millions of women are actually going off of sex, yeah, which is just goes to prove it's not, you know, having sex that they enjoy and that sustains them. I mean, yeah, it's not enough just to blame the men for not knowing what to do when we're not actually standing on our own two feet and doing something and talking about it. Now, one client of mine who's a consultant, a business consultant, he said to me one day, he said, you know, my, 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 uh, my business, my, uh, occupation consultants it's full of underqualified men who are overpaid and overqualified women who are underpaid and he told me it's because when there's the interview the men go in there and they're like yeah I can do this I'm so good I have all this experience exaggerate and the women tend to just you know play down what they're actually capable of essentially you know and yeah any one of us can play down you know it's not because you're a man you're 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 not gonna you know that you're gonna fit this stereotype but it's just a pattern I think any of us can get into where we are just playing ourselves down we're being little we're not doing what we can do we're not actually standing out and we're not really shining as ourselves and who we are and obviously gold shines, we love the shine of gold, right? You know, even if we say we hate it, we do love gold, you know? And we love money as well because we value money so much. And many people are scared to spend their money, they're scared to like invest their money, they're scared to use their money um, because there's this lack of understanding of the energy of money and when we look at what exactly is money you know we all know anyone anyone who knows anything knows it's just being printed out it doesn't actually mean anything there's no gold standard you know people use that as a criticism of money but it's kind of proof that money is an energy and it exists because we believe in it you know and at the same time it's almost like we ourselves exist and we we flourish we prosper we excel because we believe in ourselves now I went through years of uh, let's say just you know ultimately I would say I was just sexually blocked sexually shut down I didn't uh, you know I didn't have any orgasms I had various health problems I was not knowing you know I wasn't knowing what to do with my sexuality weirdly enough I didn't either really know what to do with money I mean I was uh, yeah, you know, I, I I didn't understand it until I actually got to this point one day where I was like, the one thing that just seemed completely irrelevant to all my problems going on in life, which was that I wasn't having an orgasm, I was like, I want to address this, I want to do something about this, and I want to have an orgasm, you know, which to most people would think like, well, of all the problems she's got, why is she looking at that thing? 
something inside me was just drawing me towards I want to feel whole as a woman I want to feel sexually complete and I want to you know I just want to have an orgasm basically you know and it was actually through this experience of going and having uh uh, basically starting to practice Taoism, starting to practice energy work, starting to practice Tantra, that I then had this sexual awakening that essentially opened me up to good health, more energy, that's part of it, but also opened me up to experience, uh, you know, my vision. Like I was talking about this last Friday, right, about the vision and how the vision like projects us and brings us forward and how it's coming from the liver and that it comes from the big toe, travels up the body, travels up through the sexual organs and it has a huge effect on the sexual organs. It then comes into our body, into our being and from there, you know, it goes up into our eyes and from here we have vision and we see because actually problems with vision on a physical level relate to, uh, relate to problems with the liver. But actually when we don't have the vision, the bigger picture, when we can't see our destiny, when we're not seeing ourselves moving forward, we're stuck in this puddle of mud, just feeling like we are nowhere. We, we, we are just don't have possibilities so much like fear-based thinking about fear of you know moving out from where we are um this is we it's not only that we don't go anywhere from for ourselves but all of this kind of not enoughness that we hold on to because we want to be humble we don't want to be standing out there it's actually egoism it's actually ego projection where we are just scared to be juicy, to be vibrant, to be talented, to be gorgeous, to be everything that we actually are, because society has told us it's too much. We don't want to be too much, you know? So then we hold on and we go into not enoughness. And to be in not enoughness, we have to shut down our sexuality. Because if we're connected, truly, truly connected in the most pure hearted, spiritual way, to our vaginas, to our penises, we absolutely shine and we're absolutely bright. And we can really, <laughs> sorry, I just had some dog visitors show up to see my dogs as well. Uh, let's show the little, <laughs> sorry. So, <laughs> um, anyways, getting back, you know, when we're just trying to just dumb ourselves down and do this kind of fake humility, which is this egoistic kind of humility, when we're trying to not show ourselves as the juicy, beautiful, sexy beings that we are, we're just not doing anyone any favors. We're not helping ourselves and we're not helping other people. And when we're in these situations, we're never really going to go far. We're never going to go far in life. Now, myself personally, you know, when I, when I unblock the energy in my pussy, this was just the beginning, the first step of a journey, which then took me, because it then opened my eyes to my vision, and I started to see my destiny, and I started to see what I was supposed to be doing you know and I truly believe inside of every woman there is a project there is something beautiful that we can give to the world but unless we are connected into this power within our vaginas within our pussies within our sexual organs we're so limited in our direction and in our vision you know and as I unblocked my sexual energy and started working on what I'm doing and realizing that oh sorry about that Makita come on and realized that uh, you know what was meant for me was so much more than this kind of fear based state where I'd been keeping myself little I'd been keeping myself low you know and I started to create you know what was my vision to do I had to come to a realization about so many of the beliefs, you know, and I realized how tied together they were. The, the, the beliefs we can't show our negative emotions, the belief we can't show our sexuality, and this belief that somehow money is limiting us, you know, that we're limited, that we're stuck in poverty, that we're stuck in being less 
all the time, this belief that we then go on and start perpetuating around ourselves in our lives. Now, I'm yeah. going to be talking more about this on Monday. And I want to just see if you're not in my membership, have you signed up to join the, um, the masterclass on Monday? So could we get the link? in the in the bio because i want uh or just put your sorry link in the in the comments or if you could just put your your name if you want to have an invite to this master class um because it's really a long journey you know when i talk about these things like having a spiritual relationship with your vagina a spiritual relationship with money and so on you know these can sound like abstract concepts but there really is like a science to it and there's a way it really works and it worked for me it works with my clients when my clients follow and follow my directions and follow what i give them to do it works for them as well that we just start, when we upgrade our energy system, when we clean out all the drains, all the blockages, everything that's like stopping us from just being able to shine brightly as ourselves, everything around us starts to balance out, you know? Whether it is not having enough in the sense of I don't have enough money or not having enough in the sense of I've got loads of money but I just feel empty and I feel unhappy, you know, and I'm not getting what I want from life even though I have all of this material abundance. Because when we talk about abundance, there's financial abundance, there's abundance on so many different levels, even looking at love, looking at fulfillment and so on. It was only when we bring all of these together and really like create a harmony around them where we're feeling we're getting like what we want from life and that we will really find happiness and we'll find fulfillment you know so I know that you've probably heard before about the importance of our wombs the importance of our vaginas but I'm talking about this on such a level that it's so deep it's so profound you know it's possible to scientifically go into these parts of our bodies and really like work to create this relationship work to take these energies out that don't belong there you know and if you want to know more about this i also invite you again reach out to me in dm or basically uh um yeah uh basically drop a comment we can be in touch send you some more information about it and um i invite you as well just if you have any comments ah this is finished no no. <whistles> Sorry. <laughs> I couldn't see the phone for a minute. I invite you again if you have any comments, any questions. If you enjoyed this live, please can you give me like a heart in the chat? I want to know what you thought. And I hope that I see you again then on... Uh, Monday and I've got two more lives going on this week as well so sending you lots of blessings and love enjoy the rest of your day Mwah.